Hey guys, welcome to another Game Maker tutorial. Uh, this one's gonna be a quickie. Um, I will be using my top-down game that I've been working on to go ahead and demo this. Uh, and basically, what it is is a uh, more or less a flashlight radius. If you uh, if you look at the screen closely, you can tell there's a, a light radius around the character that I kind of wanted to set up as a as a flashlight, more or less. You can actually see some of the 3D that I've been working on, some of the blood splatter effect. But uh, again, this is just going to be for the lighting bay. Um, unfortunately, YouTube over the last week or so has been giving me some weird errors where it won't upload my videos properly. Um, trying to get them uploaded right, but we'll see how that goes. Alright, uh, first thing we're going to want to do is create the sprite for our light. So if we go, uh, go ahead and create a sprite, wherever it, uh, mine is going to be, of course, yay big. Um, you can create it as big as you want or as small as you want, of course, uh, depending on how big or small it is, uh, the radius, of course, will be made. Uh, be sure to also center it. You want it centered so that it's always on top of your character, more or less. You don't want it off to the side or anything like that. Well, I guess if you want it off to the side, you can have it off to the side but I have mine centered and be sure to name it sprite light alright after that you're gonna want to create an object for that light uh, I named it O light you don't have to attach the sprite to the object instead what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your events add event and you're going to want to add in draw. Not draw GUI or resize, just regular draw. In regular draw, you're going to go over to control, execute code, drag it over. Oh, and I already have it open down here. And I generally like to have a little check just in case um, the character dies or anything. It doesn't give you any errors. So if instance exists, OBJ player, and you start your little brackets. And we're going to go over the first three lines of code because the second line is just, uh, well, we'll cover that here in a moment. And what I ended up using is actually if you go up here to, to help contents and look up draw set blend mode extended. That's what I ended up using to basically create this effect. Um, if you go look it up in the helps and the contents, uh, it actually gives a way better explanation for it than I would. Um, but basically what I ended up doing is I ended up combining the blend mode source alpha, sorry, blend mode source alpha with blend mode one, which created this right here. Now I did try using some of the other ones like uh, Blend Mode Source Alpha and you know Blend Mode Source Alpha make it a little bit um, I guess a reduced opacity or increased opacity uh, but it didn't work out as well as I wanted it to and it actually kind of broke the game every so often uh, depending on which one you use so if you want to try feel free to just to let you know it did end up messing up on mine um, does not necessarily mean it'll mess up on yours but it's worth a shot Alright, so we're going to use draw set blend mode extended, and it's going to call two, and again, it's blend mode underscore, or bm underscore src underscore alpha, comma, and then bm underscore one. So, blend mode source alpha, comma, blend mode one. Right under it, you're going to want to do a draw sprite, and this is where we're going to actually call the sprite light, the, the sprite that we created. We're, that's why we're not attaching it to the object itself. So draw sprite, sprite light, comma, the sub image, zero, the placing of x, which we want it to be over our character, or at least I wanted it to be straight overhead of my character. So for me it would be obj player dot x, comma, obj player dot y. So it centers it right on top. Um, again, you can change that if you want to, uh, that's entirely up to you. And then for the last bit, 
you're going to add in draw set blend mode and this only calls one mode and that mode is going to be blend mode or bm underscore normal uh, don't set it to uh, max or add or anything like that it'll just mess it up um, but that's really about it right there you can always I guess add in a different feature where you know you can turn it on and off but uh, take those three lines of code and go ahead and duplicate them and basically what that's gonna do is it's gonna make the light brighter let me see if I can demonstrate that I just copied and pasted in a third and if you notice it's a little bit brighter now walk over to my little shotgun we got our uh, little zombies wandering around and of course if, uh, if they get too close they'll de deal damage everything else been incorporating a kickback system let me see if I can it hasn't worked perfectly it'll send them back but at the same time they'll uh, yeah they'll face away from you so I'm trying to get them to face properly Let melee combat hit him in the face the pipe but um all right guys that's uh, that's really about it um oh yeah and uh, be sure to that it's uh that it's visible I actually did miss a little bit of it let's go back uh remember how we did the mist or i guess for some of the people that might be watching this for the first time um if you saw how you did the mist, you basically do the darkness, I want to say, that for lack of a better term. Uh, the darkness, you would do it the same way. And if you notice, you go into backgrounds, draw background color, and select whatever background you want. I'm going to be going into background three, seeing as all my other ones are already used. One's being used by my mist, and one's already being used by a darkening effect so we're gonna go into background 3 make sure that visible when room starts is clicked make sure that foreground image is clicked you don't have to really set the speed to anything because it's not moving anywhere you're not trying to give the uh, the illusion of mist and we're gonna set it to background 4 which is what I named my background make it darker and that's another thing you're going to want to create a background I made mine 400 by 300 um, you know you can always make yours a different size and if we go into it you'll actually see that it's not necessarily um, fully colored in I'm drawing over it so what you want to do is you you want to get like a gray color slightly grayish color bring down your opacity and just go go over it a little bit to give it that dark color or the darkness feel to it um, you don't have to name it background 4 I would suggest renaming it probably darkness which is what it's going to be used for let's go ahead and kick that up uh, remember I didn't put in another darkness for my background so it should be a little bit darker there we go yeah see it's a little bit darker now still got a little bit of a fog effect going not as much because I actually took one away but then again you can always add more to your backgrounds and that's really about it guys that that covers all of it don't forget to drop your object your light object into the room otherwise it won't work um, for some weird reason people tend to forget that um, but hopefully that helped hopefully I can get some more videos uh, up and going if you have any questions go ahead and let me know and enjoy